Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Lonnie and we are here at the Salvation Army here in Overland Park, Kansas. And I, it's been a little while since I've been here, probably before Christmas. So I thought we would hop on in here and take a quick peek around and see what they have. I'm always on the lookout for purses, bags, accessories, things like that. I do live shows over on the Poshmark app every Monday at 8.30 Central Time um, in the evening. So it's a lot of fun over there. So if you love purses, things like that, I'd love to have you over there. I'll link all of my information down in the description box if you, if you want to come and join us. It's a lot of fun. But I think we're going to run on in here and see what we can find. So tan tags are 50% off. Kind of an overview of the store. They don't. Let's go over to the purse wall and see what they have. I think they keep the purses in several different areas here. Oh, look at this. It's a large milk can. I think these are decals, but it's cute. Very folk art looking. So let's see what we have here. This is Mishi. I think that's how you say that. Um, I remember these were popular probably about 20 years ago when they had all the different little wraps that you could use for those. That was always fun. That's just plastic. Here's a coach tote. Looks to be in pretty good condition. It's a jacquard fabric. So not bad. Let's see if we can find a price. I do not see a price. Oh, I think the strap is pretty messed up on this one. So there's a little bit too much damage for me there. What is this? It's not Brahmin, but it kind of gives the Brahmin vibes, right? Let's see if we can get it open. It's unbranded. I don't think it's real leather. Here is another coach bag. That's cute. I think it's a little bit of an older style, but it's still very cute. It is $60. That's going to stay here. one is new with tag. Treviso. I've never heard of that one. It's plastic. That feels like leather, but I don't love that style. So let's head over there. There's a few, some more bags over there as well. So we'll go and check those out. This is a Love Betsy. That's actually really cute. But look, it is $16.95. This looks like a Brighton. And it is Brighton. Let's see how much it is. It is 1943. It's very cute. It's definitely vintage. Super cute little DKNY piece. These lights are really yellow in here. Let's look through some of these little. Thought that was hobo for a minute. It is not. It is not. 
And there goes the music. Not seeing anything that really pops out. Let me know if you guys see anything. I'm not seeing much. The thrifting is getting harder and harder. It's quite the challenge. There's Vera Bradley. It's worn. And it is 8.93. It's plastic. I think that's a Tina Nello, 22.93. Yikes. I'm striking out of everywhere I go, it seems like. But they do have a good selection of furniture here. And... I do want to go back and look at the furniture. I would, again, I would still love to find an arched cabinet, kind of small in scale, that I can repaint, refinish, do something, kind of upcycle, I guess, um, for my upstairs great room. Probably will take a while to find it, but. Maybe we will be able to. There's a fake Louis, it looks like. You can kind of tell by the glazing. I think that's probably not real. But there is a Dooney. Not sure the price. They have these locked up in the case. This is a Dooney and they have it for $149. So there's that. They do have a lot of jewelry. I don't know anything about jewelry as far as value. Um, yeah, I just buy what I like for myself to wear and that's it. And honestly, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I do love my turquoise rings. Um, but yeah, I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. And I definitely don't know what I'm looking at as far as designer or value or anything like that. Let's go check out some of the hard goods too. I thought this was an ice cream bucket at first. It is not. It's 1998. Let me know if you see anything that's catching your eye. This looks like a very large, I thought at first it was kind of like a dough bowl. It's not. This lighting is really blue in here. This is $15. It's it's like a hammered copper. Be a really pretty decorator piece on a coffee table, dining room table. Um, I like that. I like the brass piece too. Oval in shape, really cute on a dresser maybe. It's $15, oh, super cute. But again, I feel like that's just a little more than I might wanna pay. This is an old, obviously. It's probably a home goods piece. It was originally 44. They have it for 20. And signed 15. Why is everything $15? Is there anything under $15? Well, I found something. It's this metal tray. It's $9.98. Good grief. 
And I know I sound like I complain in all of these videos about the price, but in my area, I feel like this is astronomical. And I feel like just in the last couple months, the prices have really, really just taken a huge increase. Let me know if it's like that in your area too. This is just like crazy to me. This is hand painted. I actually really love the dark moody colors in this. Um, it's $6.98 and it's just like this little wooden hat box. But I think you could definitely just use this topper um, for a piece of decor that could look cool in a vignette or something. So, super cute. What is this? I guess this would have had some kind of a metal stand with it. The lighting is really weird in here. This is $2.98. What is this? It's got a chip. This is so green in here. The lighting is awful. This is a Fitz and Floyd piece. So it is town and country, Fitz and Floyd. It's got chips. It's just a little trinket dish. And I do not see a price on it. It was in someone's booth, because that looks like a booth sticker. Lighting in here is so weird. I know I keep saying that, but it truly is. It's like leather jewelry case. Another little trinket box. And this is $16. No idea. Is this just a little casserole? I assume. Maybe Temptations. Celebrating home. Sixteen. This is a trifle dish. Just a clear trifle dish. It's fifteen. And you get the fake lemons and limes in it for fifteen. I'm thinking you could get a trifle dish for about that amount of money new, right? I mean, I haven't bought a trifle dish in a, in a while, or maybe ever, but. This is pretty beat up. I wonder if it has the silverware in it. It's 25 and it's empty. Rogers and Son, we'll wait. No, it's got the knives. And it's $25. Just a little from the 80s, the little duck canister set. I remember when my sister decorated her house in ducks. Um, Tunisian pottery. Can't find the price. The good old 80s with the ducks. Beverage dispenser. It is $22.98. I've said this before. I'll say it again. It is my weakness for sure. I absolutely love dinnerware. This is very boho inspired. I. Th this is a little tray. I. It's really cute. I think this would have had maybe coasters with it. If I remember right, this is $9.98, like a bamboo little tray with the butterfly. So cute. I have a set of coasters like that. It's really pretty. Oh, look at these blue pieces. This is pretty. Love that. It's $3.98. These are Prima Design. These came from Hobby Lobby. So they were $9.99. And we know Hobby Lobby will always do their half off. So these would have been five at Hobby Lobby and they're four here. But I think 
didn't they say tan was half off? So these may be part of the half off. These are really pretty. I don't know how many there are though. So these are like a salad plate or sandwich plate size. And it looks like there's only three. That's a bummer. Those are pretty. I think everybody had these. This is the Daisy Pattern, Crazy Daisy Pattern. Is that the name of it? You guys tell me. These are Corel. Um, they want $1.98 a piece for these, Corel. So there are a lot of dinner plates, and then there's four of the sandwich or salad plates. So quite the collection. These are so durable. These are my favorite. This is my favorite everyday dish brand. Love that. I just have a white set. I love them. They're lightweight, almost indestructible. It's great. Tabletops Unlimited. These are, this one's four. It's like, just like the little au gratin. I think that's what those are called. Not for sure. Tricycle lamp. It's a lamp. Interesting. It's $26. Yikes. More snack plates everywhere we go, they follow us. Let's see how much they are. And they want $5 a piece for them, and they don't even have the cups with them. Or maybe those didn't have the cups. I think this is, might be depression glass, am I right? $3.98. Just a little cake plate. The amber. These are pretty. They are $4.98 each. And there is a set of four. So that's good. A little angel baby. It's resin. Squirrel. If you follow my Poshmark show, you'll get it. This little bunny. It's kind of crush kind of a cute face. This was probably just a studio piece. It looks like it was done in 1985. It's $4. A really pretty cobalt blue piece. They want $19.98 for it. But y'all see anything? Cherry pie plate. I am ready for some cherry pie. My sister in law makes the best cherry pie. When they come in season, she goes and picks the cherries. It's so good. So good with chocolate ice cream, too. Just a black and white Hobby Lobby piece, I think. It's cute, though, isn't it? They want 16 for it, which is what it would have been at Hobby Lobby new. Because it was $34.98, and we know Hobby Lobby does half off, so... All right, let's go check the furniture. I do want to see if they have some kind of a cabinet that I may be interested in. I doubt it, but we'll see. And then if my husband's watching this video and he hears me talking about a cabinet, I'll know because I'm going to look over and see if he's really watching it or not because then I'm going to get a look like, girl, you do not need a cabinet. Like that's not happening. Once again, you guys, it's a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. I like this. This looks handmade, but it probably isn't. So this is $198, so why wouldn't they have these priced together as a set? Not sure. So 
that would be four dollars. Kind of like that. I really wish I would have bought that arch cabinet back at City Thrift there a few months ago. Here's a sideboard. I think it's sold. Oh no, they're calling this a jewelry stand. Jewelry stand, $3.99. Stand. Universal. Why are they calling this a jewelry stand? Maybe because it has the velvet lining, but that's where your silverware would have gone. Okay, that's odd. Yeah, this has. the inserts for all of your silverware. They think it's jewelry. Odd. So see, they don't even know what they're selling. There's a really pretty little old piece over there. Not seeing an arched cabinet yet. There's some pretty planters. Look at this piece. This is $99. It's a carved wood piece. It's very pretty. I like that piece. There's a wooden bench. This would be great at the end of the bed. You could have repaint it. Put that at the end of the bed. I like that. It's pretty, got deep, some deep scratches in it, but yeah, it's very sturdy too. Great piece. Here are these planters. These would look really pretty on my front porch, beside the door of my porch. Oh, they're very heavy too. They are $35 each. So they must have done that for height. I like these a lot, but I don't like 35 each. But I love those, those are really pretty. So yeah, those would be great. On a porch beside door, beside the front door, I like that. There's a nice desk. Old. It's just made to look old. Let's see. It's fifty. That's a good. That's a good price. That has potential. So here is this little old piece here. It's seventy-five. They're just calling it an antique dresser. And the drawers do not open easily. It's got the wheels on the legs. Pretty piece. It's 75. Looks like a wicker, a white wicker headboard. It's twin size. So really pretty in a little girl's room, cottage style. Super cute. Oh, look at this piece. a little bench or stool. It looks like it's made out of cedar. A little handmade piece. It's not very big at all. So, oops. It is $150. Yikes. Very large dining room table. It is $180. You can easily fit six chairs. This looks like an old record player. Yep. Like from the 60s, 70s maybe. And yeah, it is, they're calling it antique. I don't think it's technically antique, but 
$3.99. Dresser is $1.99. Outdoor pa patio furniture. It's the table and the four chairs. It is one twenty-five. I do like the look of this. It's very lightweight. I like the look of that. Oh, this is pretty. This has the marble bit here. It's missing the back. It's missing the mirror. So this piece is missing the mirror. It's very pretty. It would have locked. It's missing the knobs here. That is a pretty piece. So it is definitely missing the mirror and it is 150. It's pretty. This one has the mirror. It is 300. I like the poles on this. It's very pretty. Ornate brass here. Black pole. This one's missing. I am looking for some bar stools too for my kitchen. I need three. So I did find some a few months ago again at Savers and I loved them, but there was only two and I need three. So I am gonna be on the lookout for those as well. It was a really bad upcycle. These oak chairs look very old. They're pretty sturdy too. They're 15 a piece. Those would be really nice in an eat-in kitchen or just a breakfast um, area in your kitchen. Those would be a really nice upcycle. Some wicker chairs. I think they've seen better days. They need repainted. They are $24.99. They're not horrible. It is like a plastic coating. So it's not real, real wicker. You know what I mean? So these would be okay for outside. Because it is a plastic. It does have a coating on them. So kind of coming apart here, but they're 25 each and there's a pair. There's this really pretty little, what I would call a bedroom chair. It's in the blue, the oversized blue floral. This is in really nice condition. It is $40. It looks like it does need a cleaning a little bit, but it probably wasn't used, sat in or used very much. But that would be really pretty in a bedroom. $40. This looks like it was probably a dining chair. Uh, but you could use it as your office chair if you wanted to at your desk. It does have a couple stains that need cleaned up. And it's $40. So here's a set of four bar stools, not what I'm looking for, not the style, um, but they're $20 each, so that's a good price if I can find some that I really love for that price or under, I would be happy at $60 for all of my bar stools, even if I have to work on them, you know. There's all the sofas. So there, there is quite a bit of furniture here. This is probably the biggest selection of furniture here in this particular store versus Goodwill versus City Thrift. Um, you know, the other stores that I shop. This is the 
largest selection of furniture that I've found so far. But I think that's going to do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.